symbol, I saw that. Two, two more symbols. Let's go down. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at oh the Three God. Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. We'll see about that. <clears throat> yeah, I always want to miss so like, this is the underground harbor. The Grey Lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. What have you done? Yes, I said forever, but this wasn't what I meant at all. Well, Rebellion. are you happy day? Please wait. It's a random one. So we don't have curfew anymore. Just sneak in here too. It's kind of late. Sneak around. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Possibly. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Oh, yeah. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. <laughs> None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. I still don't like it. If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, 
Which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? <laughs> no. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget okay. was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which <laughs> potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Oh, oh, no. Um, you believe me. Um, I don't know. Found your relics. Found his relics. No. The answer was the Deathly Hallows. Okay, I was running According away. to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? I don't, I don't know. The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws know. the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Sure. True. Actually, the answer was false. <laughs> While polyjuice potion can be used to change things this. such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more oh, difficult. Okay. I'd like to answer more questions. What uh, governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? I don't, I don't know. The Order of Merlin. No, that's incorrect. The Wizards Council disbanded in seven. Which dragon breed is the small? I don't. I don't know. The Ukrainian. Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, Ab who founded the village? Quincy Hogg. It is believed that Hengist used the three broomsticks in. The hide behind was. Ab A rune spore. That's incorrect. While the hide behind. What is the o I don't, I don't like any of these. The knockback, Jane. Actually, the answer was the Patronus. The only known sub... Who published the law of element... I don't... The Verne de... That's incorrect. One of the principal exceptions... To okay, how... What does the Hogwarts motto translate? Knowledge is the real magic. No. The answer was... Never in Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Okay, I'm which done. Magical... I'm done. I'm done. The Basilisk. I'm done. That's incorrect. According I'm done. to Parth, where is it? I'm done. The Pyr The Ameri what is Do I have to do this? Amatentia. That's the art. Amatentia smells different. Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? Do I have to worse? Wonderful. Emmerich the Eat. I'm not even gonna try. I just so I Emirate game. If a chase I just I just Black. gonna I don't I don't know what? if I get them right or not. Mimbleless Basil is what No Sir so The Lock at how many Who was the first minister? You lick. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, it's nice. You might not have got very many right, but I'm sure you... Thank you for humoring me by part. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Okay. Revelio. Yeah, well, no, no part of that. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. 
Lumos. Rebellio. Lumos. Okay. I could have swore I already grabbed you. the music it's gonna I guess I'll be better later but Revelio. It was so cool looking. Okay. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, Tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Of course I do. Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. 
Hopefully course. you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Oh. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Of course not. not at all. I was, uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember penchant. that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Puzzle solutions. That's gonna suck. Since I was in hell, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest. I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I'll try. Do this one first. going. Revelio. I think I'm trying this one. Lumos. Okay, it looks like it's at the top. What's up to the owl? Don't see Lumos. That's a cool view. Okay. 
Rebellion. Nothing. There's gotta be something up here, though, right? Probably overlooked like ten of these things already. Right. You saw flying around. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course! How exciting! I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Okay. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. I can start picking up some of these checkpoints. <laughs> this flying stuff sucks. Uh, so I can grab that one later. Uh, more of these stupid balloons. Got how to land. <laughs> I completely forgot how to land. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthbot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. 
Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. <laughs> I, um, uh, well, yes. <coughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen, either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Okay. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. <laughs> this poor kid. Okay. Do we, do we do it? Might as well. Real struggle is when I actually have to fight. Oh, I gotta remember all the, the buttons. Uh, Rebellion. Oh, hey, 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 give me that. I'll take that and then. Don't run me over. I take you up here. Where'd you go? Revelio. Maybe just say screw it. Let's go see what's over here. Rebellio. Is looking at us. Uh, I'm just uh clever. I'm gonna walk in the bathroom real quick before I start that. 
so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive oh, workmanship for so simple a device. Oh my god. Impressive workmanship aside, there we go. it's the only way forward. Still can't believe we're inside a real goblin. Descendo. Unganium Leviosa. Leviosa. Repulsa. Revelio. I see that. Leviosa. Bombarda! Places! Descender! Rebellio! I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Akio. Definitely is. Oh, God, boy. I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgon, to say the least. Uh, wouldn't mind a plump job of Gringos. Who's he sitting around all day? Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Someone there? We're being watched by a door. What's a human? That was a little more than I'm used to. Well, get us through his safe now, meet. You have my word. <laughs> that was my fault right there. I really wouldn't button the push. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. I feel like you're gonna die. Let's take a look around, on it. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Revelio. Curious. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Okay, kid, let, like, we gotta, we gotta start beating up some people. I think I can 
Hellos? Someone's here. Who's that you? Arrogant child! This is where you will fail. Glacius. No! I will make you the no. dog. <clears throat> Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Revelio. Yes, of course. Revelio. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Well, yeah, I mean, if we keep going, you'll see it. Boiler. Incendio. This is more complex than I had expected. Revelio. I feel like I need like. Incendio. Accio. Oh, no, no worries. You tell me I was, I was supposed to do that over there. Son of a bitch. It just didn't work. And why weren't you working earlier? Dumbass. Rebellion. Let's go back. That's such a waste of time. Not quiet enough. That's the last loyalist. Unfortunately, really. I imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind. Rebellion. Get some money in your hand. Nintendo. This 
Crescendo. Crisis. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Repulsa. Too tired of doing this stuff. For me. Okay, where we go? Uh, We're close to a breakthrough. Don't wish to be seen doing it. Not that many. I think I can still tell us. Should be the last of them I'll meet. Revelio. I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. Rebellion.
Incendio. Accio. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodcott what we found. Oh, I'm gonna have trouble with that one. Revelio. Take these. You're not coming with me, kid. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I think we told too many people about our situation. I think too, too many people know at this point. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I think you're, I think you're the weakest link. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Yeah, I'm leaving you. Goodbye. Hold up. Yeah, it's supposed to be in here. some of this weight here too you know you can bring yourself over I, you can just yeah you can just bring yourself over I feel like I'm going the wrong way oh yeah I'm definitely going the wrong way I mean what are you doing dude it's just to get me out of here What are you doing? Akio! You're not a very good guy. What's this? I'm gonna jump up here. Confused now. Can we, can we go back this way? Well, I don't know. I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just an idiot. Just ignore all, all of that.
All right. Can we please talk about what just happened? All right, you don't have to be a little bitch about it. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, had you. So that's a quick book, though. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig. Eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery. But furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch. When I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> <clears throat> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Someone will not be good. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the Catacomb. 
Okay. <clears throat> I can help my boy. This one first. <clears throat> oh my god, why is it so far? Oh, okay. We take we take these. I gotta start doing some of this side shit. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. It's so, it's so close. Do I want to do it? Let's do it. We're gonna go ahead and do it, or attempt it. I know what that means. Merlin trial. <coughs> Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Dependo. Glacier. Descendo. Revelio Glacius I'm sure that's going to disappear here in a minute. <clears throat> so where is he? Revelio. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Places. Oh, looks like there was a time limit on it. Right. Okay. 
Revelio. Glacius. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report catacomb. by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. The catacomb. I need to see her. I'm thinking let's explore the catacomb. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. <clears throat> By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Going to the catacomb. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. You drive me crazy saying catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Revelio. Success always smells like shit. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Arachnids. Okay, let's uh. I hate having some of the spells. Accio! Guardian Leviosa! This room is taller than it looks. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. That's what I was thinking too. I'd wager the sarcophagi can be opened. Akio! Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Incendio! Accio! 
Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Oh, I didn't notice. <coughs> All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. Rebellion. I've heard about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Incendio. Just not the catacombs, please. I don't know if we're supposed to go that way, Bubba. Revelio. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. There's something here by the altar. What did you find? Thing. Looks like part of a student's diary. <clears throat> it mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Accio! If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. Accio! We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep there. Akio! Guardian Leviosa. Tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio. Accio. 
Vecchio. Guardian Leviosa. Oh, it just does it by itself. Cool. Only one random fucking bone. You've done it. And I, I don't know how the fuck I, I did knew it, but we'd I did get it. through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Insane. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. Oh, a spell yeah. that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Oh, shit. Go. Something troubling ahead. Well, Be on I'm, your guard. I'm not ready yet. The hell. Damn it. Uh, Let's do this. I oh, did not want to do that. <laughs> okay, whatever, we'll just copy all this real quick. Actually, I want that on one. Oh my god, this is stupid. There. There. Okay. Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Revent. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Incendio. Repulsor. Revelio.
Incendio. Akio. This catacomb has suffered decay. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Oh, this is not the eyeball chest. Rebellion. A silky missing chip. Look on it. Rebellion. Sure, battle me. Also, does not work? Akio. Descendo. Defendo. Glacius. Revelio. Way back there. Rebellion. Also, another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you! I try. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Also. Yeah, it's not that one. So I'm guessing we go. Akio. This one. Here. I'll figure it out here in a second. <clears throat> 
Accio. That worked. Keep going. Oh, that worked. Oh, it disappeared. Okay, and then that symbol. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Akio, same here. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely oh, done. Oh, 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 nice little joke. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Came back. Definitely went butt smashing that time. There, I thought that'd never end. Incendio. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Akio, hold on. Don't give up yet. Take the freaking relic. Sebastian, the relic. <clears throat> Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. Shit, let's take it. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake. I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret. Especially from my uncle. Revelio! Some bad news here in a little bit, but... Let's see what happens.
Is that ominous? Of course it is. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Yeah, so Sebastian's Sebastian. right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My <clears throat> mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperia? Uh -huh. Teach me. That's what I'm saying. <coughs> I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this Sebastian of me. is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... Fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperio! Oh shit. Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperio, it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. Damn. Going dark. Side one, yep. Okay. We're, we're doing horrible with this escape plan. Hey, let's go. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. I know. But not like this. <laughs> Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. We've always looked out for each other, Ominous and I. I hope he knows that hasn't changed.
How long will the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. We're getting dark. I can just fly over there. Like we can't fly over there. No, we're, we're gonna we're gonna teleport. Run. That's some bullshit. I got a broom. I can fly. Why? Why am I running? When we get to Feldcroft. I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. I ain't no snitch. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldkopf's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. What have you done? Save your fucking ass. Save is what we did. My With an unforgivable curse. <clears throat> and that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> Save your ass. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did right what thing. you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may idea. be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. You are fine. Let's just have a random stranger just help. <coughs> undermine your <coughs> your uncle come in and talk to him to make things better horrible idea what was he thinking 
Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Oh, I am. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come <clears throat> nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. I'll just use it on you. Why, Sebastian? Just saved her life, and you're pissed. What a douche. What a douche. It's like it's saving people's right lives. It's not even for saving people's lives. Okay, there we go. Speak with my uncle. He's a dick. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? 
That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. Oh, we're gonna turn evil together, Fog. Oh, we're gonna turn evil together. But you can't just go around interrupting me while I'm trying to tell you that, okay? Let's see where else I need to go. <clears throat> I think I want to do this one next. And then start going for some of the side ones. <clears throat> what are you up to now? Woman, well, busy. Bardo. Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Casey, I'm gonna hopefully yes. I got a bunch of side quests I gotta do. Oh shit. I can't land. Landing's not available. I I can't. I don't like I don't find no more. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the Catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Oh. I say we go ahead and guns a blazer. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Don't after me. That's great. There they are up ahead. Oh, dude. I'll let you lead. We're gonna do a mix. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Randall's loyalists are out for blood. Very good at this. <clears throat> ah, but if you don't fill up so much, you can actually go further. It's true. Eat a big meal, you'll be slowed down. You can't stop us. Sometimes. 
I got fat fingers, but sometimes they slip. I can't help. I can't help. The Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Revelios. Let's get some treasure. Really? Was oh, this the yeah, it's the potions? Yeah, my fat fingers don't let me hit these buttons very well sometimes. This is going well. We make a good team. We do it that <clears throat> Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. I know it's one I choose. You haven't had mushroom stew like what my mother used to make. Oh, like heads of lettuce. Is Someone there. What's that? Who's there? This is almost too easy. You won't send no way to And the fun is over. Wait, that dude just disappeared. What fun is that? Relative time. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Yeah, I didn't want that anyways. <laughs> What's up here? Making quick progress. Well, this is called a detour, so it's not really, really quick at this point. Just saying. I should tell you, rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. Huh. How nice. Nothing, Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. Revelio. Fat fingers. Better or for worse, we're in. I'm sorry. All oh no! This mine looks like oh, a tomb. Oh, poor guy. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. He just got home. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Akio! 
It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs. <laughs> Smashies, really? Should have thought to conjure stairs. You've seen better days. Incendio. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecker oh, will be you've been, proud. You've been in so much she work. would at I'm that. So proud of you. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. Basically. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? I promised my family worked in a mine for one time or other. I felt something that time. I got a spot that didn't see me. Apparently not. Yet.
time you cleared the room. I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight with. Get a little cocky over here, Bubba. Rebellion. Now, uh, we can have a look around in peace. Incendio. A rune symbol above the cabin door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Incendio! Uh. Accio! Nadia I'm Leviosa! I'm surprised to find a couple more rune symbols. Incendio! Revelio. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Sebastian, hopefully, I think I found something. Some more of this mystery. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Levioso, Cabalso, Incendio. Reparo. Accio. Oh. Descendo. Defendo. Glacius. Revelio. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. <clears throat> I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Really? Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Well, it's uh, right here. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Of course we are. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. 
Marin Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins Not are... all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? I'm stab you. You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Hey, you're a little bitch. I'm over here trying to help you. And you're just being a little bitch. Yeah, run away. You being a little bitch. <laughs>